Having a website with so many different types of content can make it tricky for visitors to find exactly what they're looking for. In this video, I'll show you how to add a free search bar so that your viewers can search for anything they want on your site. They just need to type in a keyword like this and results will show up like this. And then they can simply click on it and view the content. This works for all kinds of website. And check the pinned comment to get this template for free. Also, drop a comment if you like a video. It will motivate us to create more Elementor content. All right, let's get started. Okay, the first step is to add search bar to our site. So open the header with Elementor, search for the search widget. Here it is. And drag it into the hero section. Adjust its settings by going to the advanced tab and setting the width to 580 pixels. You can set it to whatever you want. Publish the page and refresh to check it out on your site. Okay, this looks decent, but we'll tweak it further. Go here, change the placeholder text to search anything. Toggle the autocomplete button to show for such suggestions as users type. Under submit, choose both the submit button and enter key as options. For the submit button, replace the text with an icon from the library like this. All right, looks good to me. Next, let's enable live results so users can see instant matches as they type. Under query, choose what type of results you want to display. For now, I'll choose this. Now, let's style the search box. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Go to style and customize the font, colors and layout. Remove the border, set a 48 pixel border radius and add padding. 15 pixels on the top and bottom, 20 pixels on the sides. Change the search icon color to blue. Make the background transparent and adjust its position with a 15 pixel right padding. Add some shadow to the box for a sleek look. Okay, the customization is done. Next, we'll create a style for the search results. There are multiple ways to do it. You can either put icon and text like this, image and text like this, or video and text like this. The setup for all the results is exactly the same. So just follow along. Head over to the WordPress dashboard, hover over templates and click theme builder. Then create a new loop item from scratch. Go to the top right and click add new. Just close this window because we will build it from scratch. Go to the top, click on the gear icon. Then on the left, rename the loop item to something that you can understand. And then click publish. Now go to widgets, look for icon box and drag it into your template. By the way, you can drop an image or video widget here instead of icon. Cool. Let's click here and choose an icon from the library that fits your design. Then delete the default description text. Under the title section, click dynamic tags and set it to post title. For the link selection, also use dynamic tags and select post URL. Set the title HTML tag to P for proper structure. Next, head over to the style tab, align the icon to the left and set the vertical alignment to the middle. Adjust the icon size to 16 pixels and tweak the font settings for the title to match your design. Keep the icon spacing at 15 pixels for a balanced look. Once that's done, click publish. Now copy the name of this loop template. Go to your search bar settings. Then go here and paste it into the search box content results section. Under query, if you go to source, you can select what kind of results you want to display. And the entire crux of the video is this. If you have a media site, you can select video or image. If it's an e-commerce site, then products, and so on. I think you get the point. As I want my visitors to search for anything, I will choose all. You can also adjust the length of the results box. I want 10 items to appear at once, so I will put 10 here. Once done, 
Click publish again to save your changes. Refresh the page to check how it looks and you'll see your new search anything loop in action. If needed, adjust the row spacing to 8 pixels for a cleaner layout. Finally, test the functionality by opening a few search results in new tabs to ensure the URLs work correctly. I'll do that and that's it. Your search bar is up and running. It's such a simple yet powerful way to enhance your site's usability and ensure your visitors can quickly find what they need. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.